Today, we're going to set up a new series, Basics in Cybersecurity. We're going to set up a Kali Linux virtual machine in VirtualBox. We're going to use a virtual machine because it will not interfere with the host machine itself. In this video, we will talk about the Kali Linux virtual machine itself, the Kali Linux VirtualBox predefined virtual machine, and the VirtualBox extension pack. Other than that, what if tech also has its own Discord now? Linked in the description. If you have any time left to check it out, you can ask questions and leave recommendations. Before we start, you have to make sure that virtualization is enabled on your CPU. I have an Asus motherboard, so I can show you how it looks on Asus. If you have any other type of motherboard, you just Google how you can enter the boot menu and enable that option. Before we start with the Kali Linux installation, the minimum requirements for a virtual machine on your PC are 20 GB of free disk space, 8 GB of RAM, and it's recommended to use two free CPU cores. And for this video, we will need to download VirtualBox, the VirtualBox extension pack, the ISO file for the manual installation, and we can also download the Kali Linux predefined VirtualBox. So open the browser and go to the Kali Linux website. There you can choose between the predefined machine or the ISO file. Here you can download the ISO file and here the VirtualBox machine. Next, we will need to download VirtualBox itself. Go to the VirtualBox website, choose your OS, and download it. Also, you can download the extension pack right here. Now that you have successfully downloaded all the requirements, we can start setting up VirtualBox. Open the downloaded application, press yes, then next, accept the terms and conditions, press next, next, yes and yes. I don't mind these entries, but you can uncheck them if you want. Press next and after that install. Now that we have VirtualBox installed, we can start with the real installation. Starting up with installing the extension pack. Open up VirtualBox, press on these three dots and extensions, install, look for your extension pack and press install. Go to the bottom and press I agree. Press yes. And after that, restart VirtualBox. Now that we have installed VirtualBox, we can start with setting up Kali Linux. First, we're going to use the predefined image. You downloaded the zip folder, just unzip it and you will get this folder. Then you go into VirtualBox and press add. Navigate to that folder and select the application in it. Then press start. This will boot up the virtual machine. The starting credentials are Kali as the username and Kali as the password. Select the first option and press enter. The booting will take a while, but we're not stressed. Then enter the credentials, Kali and Kali. You can change the password later on. And to get full screen mode, you just press this button or control right and F. And there you have it, a predefined virtual box. In the last section of this tutorial, we'll talk about how to manually install Kali Linux. Press new, type in a name for your machine. You can select the folder where you want to save the files. Then select the ISO file you previously downloaded. The type, subtype and version is getting selected automatically. Hardware, you want 8 gigabytes of base memory and two processors. Hard disk, it's recommended to use at least 20 gigabytes, but 25 is also alright. 
it will not use the whole 25 gigabytes of disk space only if you enable this check here then the virtual machine will take the 25 gigabytes wherever it needs it or not then press finish now you can start up the kali linux machine and start with the booting process now the virtual machine is booting up we're going to select graphical install the loading screens will take a while here then select english and united states my keyboard will be german Now select the host name for the system. I'm going to stick with VBox. The domain name also doesn't matter. Type in your username. I'm going to use Voldemort. Also for my account, type in a password. It should be strong if you're using it for other purposes than a sandbox, but I'm just going to use a simple one. Now it's going to set up some other things. Log. I'm going to select Eastern. Now we're going to see the partition disks. Use guided and use the entire disk. Select the only option and all files in one partition. Finish. And press yes here. And it's going to install the base system and we're going to see each other when this is finished. After the installation finished, you will see software selection. Just use the default. We will only use the system for sandbox purposes for the rest of the tutorial series. So it really doesn't matter. After everything is successfully installed, you will be greeted with the grub bootloader selection. Press yes, because on this virtual machine, you only have one operating system and that is meant with primary drive. So it's safe to use grub bootloader. Continue and select the second option. Now the grub bootloader will be installed and the installation will be finished. Now that everything is finished, we will reboot the virtual machine. And after that, we press the first option, just like we did with the predefined virtual machine. And it's going to boot up. And we're going to insert our credentials. Voldemort. And it will be a virtual machine, just like the other, but we selected our location, the time, the user and much more and it's more personalized than the predefined version. I hope we could help you with setting up Kali Linux in a virtual machine. Stay tuned with what the series will bring. We will show you how you can use Kali Linux, the tools and comments and we're going to go over the terminal. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking and sharing this video with your friends. And I hope I see you in the next video.